So it is official. CNBC reports with unions aligned timeline for rail strike and railroad emergency prep is now clear. With the alignment of the four unions that have voted not to ratify a labor deal, uh, it has provided a clear timeline for strike prep plans among the freight railroads and with sensitive cargo, including chemicals. The Brotherhood of Railroad Signalmen, BRS, announced Tuesday it is extending its status quo period through December 8th to align with the BMWED, Smart TD, and the International Brotherhood of Boilermakers. With no agreement uh, being reached by then, a coordinated strike starting December 9th. Railroad unions that voted to ratif- or for ratification have said they will not cross the picket lines and will support their fellow union workers, posing the risk of a nationwide freight rail shutdown. According to federal safety measures, railroad carriers begin prepping for a strike seven days before the strike date, which means the carriers start to prioritize the securing and movement of security-sensitive materials like chlorine for drinking water and hazardous materials in the rail wind-down. 96 hours before strike date, chemicals are no longer transported. And according to the American Chemistry Council, railroad industry data shows a drop of 1,975 carloads of chemical shipments during the week of September 10th when the railroads stopped accepting shipments due to the previous threat of a strike. The Association of American Railroads would be expected to release its planning steps similar to what it announced in September and a new economic analysis released by the American Chemistry Council estimates uh, or estimates that a rail strike would impact approximately $2.8 billion in chemical cargo that is moved on a weekly basis, with a month-long strike resulting in an overall hit to the economy of $160 billion or 1% or 1 percentage point of GDP. The ACG represents, or I'm sorry, the ACC represents Companies across international energy and pharmaceutical sectors, among other manufacturing niches, including 3M, Dow, DuPont, ExxonMobil, Chevron, BP, and Eli Lilly. So if no agreement is reached between the four unions and rail carriers during the cooling off periods, there could be a strike or a lockout unless Congress intervenes using its power through the Constitution's Commerce Clause Under this clause, Congress would be able to introduce legislation to stop a strike or a lockout and to set terms of the agreements between the unions and the carriers. One of the key points in negotiation for labor during this status quo period is asking for 56 hours of sick time based on an executive order for federal contractor benefits. The Association of American Railroads provided CNBC with its leave policy explainer, which was updated in mid-October. In a September report, the AAR quantified the impact of a strike on the supply chain and the U.S. economy at up to $2 billion a day. Folks, time to prepare. Four rail unions have a line on a potential national strike date of December 9th, with the Signalman's Union agreeing to move back its date in coordination with other unions that rejected the labor deal. With railroads beginning preparation for a strike seven days ahead of that date, chemicals take priority in rail strike preps, with transportation of this sensitive cargo stopped 96 hours before a strike. The rail ray or the railroad industry expects economy damage of $2 billion per day, while other industry groups have warned of a direct hit to GDP and, and inflation increase, which we've already seen uh, inflation taking its toll on the economy, with the Fed trying to hike interest rates to try and tame this, while also seeing the impacts of Jerome Powell, Federal Reserve Chair's, uh, uh, request or goals of millions of jobs being lost by Americans already taken an effect before Thanksgiving, on Thanksgiving, directly after Thanksgiving, and announcements being made by companies like Amazon, Hewlett Packard, Google, Alphabet, Walmart, FedEx, Bed Bath and Beyond, and more, uh, stating that more layoffs are coming. Folks, this is what's happening right now. I will bring you another update on this as soon as possible. Hopefully, we can avoid this. But if not, we should all be preparing for what this could mean for our economy, for our supply chains, for food, water, uh, the prices that we see on the shelves, possible availability, maybe even some empty shelves and food shortages, and just what could be going on around the world as we see a 33% decline in our supply chain come to a screeching halt with these four railroad unions uh, going on strike.